Well, the story doesn't end with linear approximations. You may also build higher order approximations if you know more about the higher order derivatives. So suppose we know of a function in A, we know its function value, its first derivative and a second derivative. Then we may question if there exists a polynomial K of degree 2, so a quadratic function, such that we get the following three properties. So the function value agrees with that one in of f, and uh, the derivative is the same. That's the second condition. And the third condition is that the second order derivative is the same. Later on we will see that the second order derivative tells you something about the curvature of the function f. Well, the answer is yes, we may find such a polynomial of degree 2, and it is given by an easy formula. So kfa in x basically equals the linear approximation of f in a plus an additional quadratic term. So we get fa plus f prime a times x minus a, which is the linear approximation of the function in x equals a, and a quadratic term, which is the second order derivative in a, divided by 2 times x minus a squared. It is easily checked that this function, kfa, satisfies the conditions 1, 2, and 3. Well, Let's check one. Substituting a gives f a plus f prime a times a minus a, so a minus a is zero, so this term vanishes. And the same holds for the quadratic term, since we are multiplying the second order derivative of f divided by two with zero. So what we obtain is the function value f a. Also, the second property holds just calculate the derivative of k, while the derivative of the linear approximation gives f prime a, and we are only left with calculating the derivative in the quadratic term, but this one equals 2 times x minus a times f prime double prime a divided by 2, evaluated in a, now you see that we have a linear term x minus a. If we substitute x equals a over there, then this term vanishes, so we get f prime a. And if we, multi if we take a derivative of the quadratic term twice, yeah, so we take the derivative of k prime, then under two property two, we see that we end up with differentiating two times f double prime a divided by two times x minus a, which gives f double prime a, or the second order derivative. Yeah, so we build up the second order approximation by taking the linear approximation and adding some term, some quadratic term. And you may show yourself that actually this one is also uniquely determined. So there is only one polynomial k of degree 2 with the properties 1, 2 and 3.